Good morning all. Welcome to XNR365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we will do a weekly roundup. We will discuss the most important current affairs questions and answers from 9th to 15th October 2022. Do watch the video till the end. Let's begin the session. What is the name of India's first 24 times 7 solar powered village? Modira. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has declared Modira in Gujarat Mahesra district as India's first 24 times 7 solar powered village. The Modira village is located 25 km from the Mahesra district of Gujarat and is about 100 km from the state capital of Gandhinagar. Let's talk about Gujarat. Where is the capital of Gujarat? Gandhinagar. Who is the chief minister of Gujarat? Bhubendra Bhai Patel. Who is the governor of Gujarat? Ajarya Devrat. Which state hosts the 36 national games? Gujarat. Note down this point also. 36 national games hosted by Gujarat. Let's move to the next question. Who has won the men's single title in Astana Open 2022? Novak Djokovic. Serbian Novak Djokovic has won the 2022 Astana Open by beating Stefano Tsitsipas in the final. Djokovic claimed the title, winning 6-3, 6-4 in straight sets. With this victory, the Novak Djokovic has claimed his 19th career singles title. He had won the Tel Aviv Watergun Open last week. So, who has won the men's single title in Astana Open 2022? Novak Djokovic. He had won the Tel Aviv Watergun Open last week. Note on this point also. Who has won gold medal at the IBS of World Billiards Championship in Kuala Lumpur? Pangaj Atwani. Pangaj Atwani has claimed his 25th gold medal on the world stage winning the 2022 IBS of World Billiards Championship in Kuala Lumpur. He outclassed compatriot Sauro Kotari 4-0 in a one-sided final to defend the title for the fifth time in a row. Let's talk about IBSF. The International Billiards and Snooker Federation is an organization that governs non-professional snooker and English billiards around the world. It founded in 1971. Where is the headquarters of IBSF? Doha, Qatar. Who has won Formula 1 world title? Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen was declared Formula 1 world champion after winning Japanese Grand Prix. Red Bull's Verstappen has won 12 out of 18 races in 2022. Let's move to the next question. Which state or union territory will host the 37th National Games in October 2023? Goa. Goa will host the 37th edition of the National Games in October next year, the Indian Olympic Association confirmed. The last National Games were held in Kerala in 2015. Goa was supposed to host the 36th edition in November 2016. After two delays in 2018 and 2019 due to the coastal state's inability to create adequate infrastructure, the Games were further postponed to 2020. But the COVID-19 pandemic then forced the postponement of the National Games again and the Kova government expressed its inability to host the event before December this year. Then the Games shifted to Gujarat, 36 national games hosted by Gujarat. Let's talk about Indian Olympic Association. The Indian Olympic Association is the body responsible for selecting athletes to represent India at the Olympic Games, Asian Games and other international athletic meets and for managing the Indian teams at these events. Where is the headquarters of IOA? New Delhi. Who is the president of IOA? Adli Sumariwala. Who 
UN adopted new carbon emissions goal to achieve net zero from air travel by which year? 2050. A UN organization adopted a long-term aspirational goal of making carbon emissions from air travel net zero by 2050 in response to growing pressure for airlines to reduce their pollution. The decision in Montreal occurred during a meeting attended by representatives of nearly 200 nations that belong to the UN's International Civil Aviation Organization or ICAO. Let's talk about ICAO. The International Civil Aviation Organization is a specialized agency of the United Nations that coordinates the principles and techniques of international air navigation and fosters the planning and development of international air transport to ensure safe and orderly growth. It formed in 1947. Where is the headquarters of ICAO? Montreal, Canada. Who is the Secretary General of ICAO? Juan Carlos Salazar Gomez. Juan Carlos Salazar Gomez. Note down these important points. Ben S. Bernick, Douglas W. Diamond, and Philip H. Tibbick have won the 2022 Nobel Prize in which category? Economics. Ben S. Bernick, Douglas W. Diamond, and Philip H. Tibbick have won the 2022 Nobel Prize for Economics for Research on Banks and Financial Crisis. They have won the Nobel Prize for Research on Banks and Financial Crisis, highly important. They have been honored for significantly improving the understanding of the role of the banks in the economy, particularly during financial crisis. Let's talk about Economic Nobel Prize. There is a specialty about this prize. Unlike other prizes, the Economics Award was in established in Alfred Nobel's will of 1895, but by the Swedish Central Bank in his memory. The first winner was selected in 1969. The first winner of economics was selected in 1969. What are the other fields of Nobel Prize category? Physics, Chemistry, Physiology or Medicine, Literature and Peace. Let's move to next question. Who has launched Made in India Drone Camera Drone for Farming Solutions? MS Dhoni. Indian cricket star Mahendra Singh Dhoni has launched the Made in India Camera Drone named Drone with advanced features manufactured by Garuda Aerospace. Which company manufactured Drone Camera Drone? Garuda Aerospace, note down this important point. Dhoni is the brand ambassador of Garuda Aerospace, a company which has attempted to offer drone solutions for agricultural pesticide spraying, solar panel cleaning, industrial pipeline inspections, mapping, surveying, public announcements, and delivery services. The first ever global drone expo held in which city? It is in Chennai. The Indian Drone Association, in collaboration with Garuda Aerospace, organized the first ever Global Drone Expo 2022 in Chennai. Note down this point also. The first ever Global Drone Expo held in Chennai. Drone camera drone manufactured by Garuda Aerospace. Let's move to the next question. Education 4.0 India Report 2022 released by WEF World Economic Forum As part of its 4.0 India initiative, the World Economic Forum has launched a new Education 4.0 report on how digital and other technologies can address learning gaps and make education accessible to all. The report is the result of collaboration between the World Economic Forum, the United Nations Children's Education Fund, UNICEF, and UA, Generation Unlimited India. What is the aim of this report? 
Education 4.0 India aims to address the disparities in India's education sector and to empower and engage young people. It proposes a roadmap to improve India's school system and serve as a call to action to all stakeholders in the edtech space to come together to transform the sector. So the report aims to come together all stakeholders in edtech space to transform the sector. Let's talk about WEF. WEF stands for World Economic Forum that established in 1971. Where is the headquarters of WEF? Colony, Switzerland. Who is the founder and executive chairman of WEF? Claude Schwab. Let's move to next question. Which country's deaf cricket team has won DACC T20 Champions Trophy? The answer is our country, India. India deaf cricket team has won DACC T20 Champions Trophy by defeating South Africa by 39 runs in the final match. India has secured the DACC T20 Champions Trophy at Malek Stadium, UAE. What is DACC? DACC stands for Deaf International Cricket Council. It offers hearing impaired cricketers around the world the opportunity and possibility of playing cricket on the international stage. Which country's PM dissolved the parliament recently, paving the way for an early election? The answer is Malaysia. Malaysian Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob dissolved the parliament, paving the way for national elections to be held in the coming weeks. An election must be held within 60 days of the dissolution of parliament. 60 days. What is the reason behind this? An election was not due until September 2023, but Ismail has been under increasing pressure from some faction of his ruling coalition to hold the vote earlier for a stronger mandate and due to infighting within the alliance. Let's talk about Malaysia. Where is the capital of Malaysia? Federal territory of Kuala Lumpur. What is the currency of Malaysia? Malaysian ringgit. Let's move to next question. Which country has launched Kofu-1 satellite to unravel secrets of the sun? The answer is China. China has launched a new satellite to look at the sun in a new light and unravel the secrets of the star in our solar system. Nicknamed Kofu-1 after a giant Chinese mythology who chased the sun, the observatory has been placed in an orbit about 720 kilometers above the planet, higher than the orbit of the International Space Station. The observatory, which is about 859 kilograms, lifted up from the Joaquin Satellite Launch Center in Northwest China. Let's talk about China. Where is the capital of China? Beijing. Who is the president of China? Xi Jinping. What is the currency of China? Renminbi. Which bank has entered World Book of Records for 101 angels? South Indian Bank. South Indian Bank bagged a world record for staging and swinging the highest 101 angels. The bank organized an event on the Chirikyam Unyaladam and was accolade with the World Book of Records Award for staging and swinging 101 angels. Let's talk about South Indian Bank. The bank founded in the year 1928, where is the headquarters of the Indian Bank? Trishur Kerala and the CEO is Murali Ramakrishnan. Who has become the first Indian to be crowned ICC Women's Play of the Month? Harman Preet Kaur. India's inspirational captain, Harman Preet Kaur, has become India's first woman cricketer to win the ICC Player of the Month award. She becomes India's first winner of the ICC Women's Player of the Month 
thanks to her leading role in her team's first one-day international series victory in England since 1999. Who has won ICC Men's Player of the Month award? Pakistan opener Mohammad Rizwan claimed the ICC Men's Player of the Month award. Note down this point also. Let's talk about ICC. The International Cricket Council is the world governing body of cricket. It formed on 15 June 1909, where is the headquarters of ICC, Dubai, UAE. Who is the chairman of ICC? Greg Barclay. Who is the CEO of ICC? Jeff Allardis. Let's move to next question. Who has unveiled the Toyota Corolla Altis sedan, India's first flex fuel engine car? Nidin Gadkari, Road Transport and Highways Minister Nidin Gadkari unveiled the Toyota Corolla Altis sedan, India's first flex fuel engine car. The Toyota Corolla Altis is powered by flex fuel engine compatible with petrol, ethanol and electric powertrain. What is the specialty about flex fuel cars? Flex fuel cars can run on flexible fuels including ethanol, petrol or blend of petrol and ethanol. These vehicles provide flexibility to switch engine fuel from petrol to ethanol. The vehicles can also power the engine from the battery and help in reducing the carbon emissions from the engine. Who has won women's single title in Ostrava Open 2022? Barbara Krejkakova Barbara Krejkakova from Czech Republic clinched a second successive women's tennis association title by defeating world number one Iga Shotek in the Ostrava final. She became the first woman to beat Iga Shotek in a tour level final of 2022. So who has won women's single title in Ostrava Open 2022? Barbara Krejkakova The United Nations World Geospatial Congress UNWGIC 2022 held in which city? Hyderabad Organized by the United Nations and Departments of Science and Technology and Space, the second UN World Geospatial Information Congress has witnessed over 2,000 delegates. The five-day Congress has brought policymakers, scientists, startups, and NGOs working on geopatient information to a single platform. What is the theme of UNWGAC 2022? Geo-enabling the global village, no one should be left behind. Note down this important point also. Theme is Geo-enabling the global village, no one should be left behind. Let's move to next question. Which country hosts the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup 2022? Answer is our country, India. India is hosting FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup for the first time. India played its inaugural match against USA. The iconic Kalinga Stadium in the capital of Odisha, Bhuvaneshwar, witnessed the two matches, first between Morocco and Brazil, and then between India and USA. Let's talk about FIFA. International Federation of Association Football is an international governing body of association football, beach ball, and futsal. It founded on 21st May 1904, where is the headquarters of FIFA, Zurich, Switzerland, who is the president of FIFA, Gianni Infantino. Who has won Sastra Ramajan Prize 2022? Yung King Tang The Sastra Ramajan Prize for 2022 will be awarded to Yung King Tang, Assistant Professor with the University of California, USA. Let's talk about Sastra Ramajan Prize Award. The award, instituted by Shanmuga Arts, Science, Technology and Research Academy, Sastra, in 2005, with a cash prize of 10,000 US dollar is presented annually to individuals 
aged 32 and below, who made outstanding contributions in the field of mathematics, influenced by Srinivasa Ramanujan in a broad sense. So who has won Sastra Ramanujan Prize 2022? Yung King Tang. Let's move to the next question. Which country has successfully launched GLONASS K navigation satellite? The answer is Russia. Russia launched its Soyuz 2.1B rocket carrying the GLONASS K navigation system. GLONASS K is a navigation satellite intended as part of the Russian GLONASS radio based satellite navigation system. It is the latest upgrade of Russian navigation satellites designed to replace an older version known as GLONASS M whose production had been discontinued. Let's talk about Russia. Where is the capital of Russia? Moscow. Who is the president of Russia? Vladimir Putin. Who is the prime minister of Russia? Mikhail Mishustin. What is the currency of Russia? Russian ruble. Temsula Au passed away. She was a poet and writer. So answer to the question is both B and C. Temsula Au was a Naga poet, fiction writer and ethnographer from India. Dr. Temsula Au, who was known as leading literary voice in the Northeast, was awarded Padma Shri in 2007. She was the former chairperson of Nagaland State Commission for Women. Which state or unitary has announced India's first cadaver slender lorry sanctuary? Tamil Nadu. In a first in the country, Tamil Nadu government notified cadaver slender lorry sanctuary covering 11,806 hectares in Karur and Dundical districts. Let's talk about the slender lorises. The slender lorises are a genus of loris native to India and Sri Lanka. Listed as an endangered species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, slender loris has a wide range of ecological roles to play in the terrestrial ecosystem. Tamil Nadu government will also set up India's first Duong Conservation Reserve. Note on this point, highly important. Tamil Nadu will set up India's first Dubong Conservation Reserve to protect marine species. Tamil Nadu government will also set up India's first Kadavur Slender Lore Sanctuary. Let's talk about Tamil Nadu. Where is the capital of Tamil Nadu? Chennai. Who is the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu? M.K. Stalin. Who is the Governor of Tamil Nadu? R.N. Devi. Let's move to the next question. Who has chaired the panel that formed by Union Government to study the WHO reports on deaths linked to four Indian syrups? Dr. Y.K. Gupta The government formed a four-member panel to examine the adverse event reports from the WHO on the deaths of 66 children in the Gambia being linked potentially to the four Made in India Cup syrups. The Gambia is a country in West Africa. The four-member committee of technical experts is chaired by Dr. Y.K. Gupta, Vice Chairperson Standing National Committee on Medicines. The other three members are Dr. Prakya D. Yadav, Dr. R. D. Bal and A.K. Pradhan. Let's talk about the WHO. The World Health Organization is a specialist agency of the United Nations responsible for international public health. It founded on 7th April 1948, where is the headquarters of WHO, Geneva, Switzerland. Who is the Director General of WHO, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. Who is the Secretary General of UN, Antonio Guterres. Telemanus initiative is associated with which health service? Mental Health. The Government of India has launched a 24 times 7 telemental health service called Telemanus. Telemanus stands for the Telemental Health Assistance and Networking Across States. 
it is based on karnataka's initiative of the same e manas e manas the teleconsulting program was launched by karnataka during the lockdown of covid-19 the tele manas service will start with 20 states and union territories and will subsequently be expanded to the entire country what is the aim of this initiative it aims to increase access to mental health care across the country including the hard to reach areas the network will provide consultation counseling with a specialist and a e prescription the union government aims to open at least one telemana cell in each state or union territory not on these important points let's move to next question Which state or union territory has launched India's first FIFA initiated football for all campaign? Odisha. Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik launched football for all campaign to promote the sports in the state. The program in Odisha has been initiated by FIFA in partnership with Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology and Kalinga Institute of Social Science. This is the first such program by the FIFA to promote football in India. Let's talk about FIFA. FIFA is an international governing body of association football, beach football and futsal. India is hosting FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup for the first time. Note down this point. FIFA founded on 21st May 1904. Where is the headquarters of FIFA? Zurich, Switzerland. Who is the president of FIFA? Gianni Infantino. Let's talk about Odisha. Where is the capital of Odisha? Bhubaneswar. Who is the chief minister of Odisha? Navin Patnaik. Who is the governor of Odisha? Ganeshi Lal. So which state or unitary has launched India's first FIFA initiated football for all campaign? Odisha. IMF has cut down India's GDP growth forecast to what percent in financial year 2022 2023? The International Monetary Fund has announced another cut to its gross domestic product growth forecast for India for the current financial year, this time by 60 basis points to 6.8%. At 6.8%, the IMF forecast is below that of the Reserve Bank of India. On September 30, RBI has lowered its growth forecast for India by 20 basis points to 7%. This is RBI growth forecast for India. That is 7%. And this is IMF growth forecast for India, 6.8%. Note down this important point. One basis point is one hundredth of a percentage point. That means 20 basis point means 0.2%. Let's talk about the gross domestic product. Gross domestic product is the monetary value of all finished goods and services made within a country during a specific period. What is the importance of GDP? GDP provides an economic snapshot of the country used to estimate the size of an economy and growth rate. Let's talk about IMF. IMF is a major financial agency of the United Nations that promotes global economic growth and financial stability, encourages international trade and reduces poverty. It formed on 27th December 1945. Where is the headquarters of IMF? Washington DC. Who is the managing director of IMF? Kristalina Georgieva who is the chief economist of IMF Pierre Oliver Garinges who has appointed as the chief justice of Rajasthan High Court Justice Pankaj Mittal Justice Pankaj Mittal has been appointed as chief justice in Rajasthan High Court let's check the other two important appointments Justice Pankaj B. Varley has been appointed as the Karnataka High Court's Chief Justice. 
Justice A. M. Magri appointed as the Chief Justice of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, who is the Minister of Law and Justice, Kiran Rijiju, who is the Chief Justice of India, Justice Uday Umesh Lalit. Note down these important points. Who has become the youngest medalist of 2022 National Games? Shaurajit Kere. Gujarat's 10 year old boy Shaurajit Kere created history, becoming the youngest medalist of the 36th National Games when he clinched the bronze medal in Paul Malakam. 36th National Games hosted by Gujarat. Goa will host the 37th National Games in 2023. Note on this point also. Goa will host the 37th National Games. Let's move to next question. Who has taken charge as Hall Time member of SEBI? Anand Narayan Gopal Krishnan. Former banker Anand Narayan Gopal Krishnan took charge as the fourth Hall Time member in the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI. These are the other three Hall Time members of SEBI. He has also been a member of various advisory committees constituted by SEBI and Reserve Bank of India. Let's talk about SEBI. The Securities and Exchange Board of India is a regulatory body for securities and commodity market in India under the ownership of Ministry of Finance. It founded on 12th April 1992, where is the headquarters of SEBI, Mumbai, who is the chairperson of SEBI, Madhabi Puri Bhak. Who is the Minister of Finance, Nirmala Sidharaman? What was the name of the website that will enable citizens to contribute to the Armed Forces Battle Casualties Welfare Fund? Ma Bharti Ke Sabot, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh launched website Ma Bharti Ke Sabot that will enable citizens to contribute to the Armed Forces Battle Casualties Welfare Fund. Bollywood actor Amitabh Bachchan to be the goodwill ambassador of the portal. Who has appointed as the chairperson of parliamentary panel on chemicals and fertilizers? Shashi Tadur. Congress leader Shashi Tadur has been appointed as the chairperson of the parliamentary standing committee on chemicals and fertilizers. Mr. Tadur, who was earlier chairing the parliamentary panel on information technology. PM Divine Scheme aims at developing which region of India? The answer is Northeast region. The Union Cabinet approved a 6,600 crore scheme in a bid to fund infrastructure project in the Northeastern states. The scheme, Prime Minister's Development Initiative for Northeast region, will be applicable for the next four years of the 15th Finance Commission from 2022 to 2023 to 2025 to 2026 as per government data. The scheme was announced in the Union Budget 2022-2023 to address development gaps in the northeastern region. Note on this point, it was announced in the Union Budget 2022-2023 to address development gaps in the northeastern region. Which of the following country's Prime Minister was resigned to pave the way for new government? The answer is Chad. Chad's Prime Minister Albert Fahimi Padake has resigned to pave the way for a new government after the Central African country pushed back elections by two years. Let's talk about Chad. It is a country in Central Africa. Where is the capital of Chad? Enchimina. What is the currency of Chad? Central African CFA franc. Which of the following airports was completely switched to renewable energy? The answer is Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport. Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport announced that it has entirely switched to green sources for its energy consumption needs, making it one of India's 100% sustainable airports. The airport is fulfilling 95% of its requirement from hydro and wind 
while the rest 5% from the solar power. The airport, which was also first in India to launch hybrid technology that solely runs on green energy since April 2022. What is the name of airport that became the first airport in the country to function solely on hydro and solar energy? It is Delhi Airport. Not on this point. Delhi Airport became the first airport in the nation to function solely on hydro and solar energy. Who has elected as the new president of Iraq? Abdul Latif Rashid. Iraqi lawmakers have elected Abdul Latif Rashid as the new president of Iraq. He has served as the Water Resources Minister from 2003 until 2010 and has been an advisor to the head of the state since. He will be the fifth president of the country since 2003. Let's talk about Iraq. Where is the capital of Iraq? Baghdad. Who is the Prime Minister of Iraq? Mustafa al Qadimi. What is the currency of Iraq? Iraqi dinar. So who has elected as the new president of Iraq? Abdul Latif Rashid. Let's move to next question. Which is India's first bank that crossed 6 trillion rupee home loan in assets under management or AUM? The answer is SBA. The State Bank of India continues to lead the home loan segment and has surpassed 6 trillion rupee in assets under management AUM. What is AUM? The total market value of the investments that an organization manages on behalf of its clients is known as assets under management or AUM. Let's talk about SBA. Where is the headquarters of SBA? Mumbai. Who is the chairperson of SBA? Dinesh Kumar Kara. Let's move to next question. Who has become the second Indian shooter to win 10 meter air rifle gold in the ongoing ISSF World Championship 2022? Rudraksh Balasaheb Patil. Rudraksh Patil won gold in the men's 10 meter air rifle event in the ISSF World Championship in Cairo, becoming only the second Indian to achieve the feat after the legendary Abhinav Bindra. He beat Italy's Danilo Denis Solasso 17-13 in the gold medal match. He also secured a 2024 Paris Olympics quota for the country in the process. Let's talk about ISSF. The International Shooting Sport Federation is the governing body of the Olympic shooting events in rifle, pistol and shotgun disciplines and of several non-Olympic shooting sports events. Which country hosts the ISSF World Championship? It is Egypt. It is in Cairo, Egypt. ISSF founded in 1907. Where is the headquarters of ISSF? Munich, Germany. Who is the president of ISSF? Vladimir Lizin. Let's move to next question. As per the WWF Living Planet Report 2022, how much percent drop in wildlife population globally in 50 years? 69%. Wildlife populations monitored across the globe have declined by a massive 69% between 1970 and 2018 according to the WWF Living Planet Report 2022. The Living Planet Report 2022 is the 14th edition of the report which is published every two years. Let's talk about some of the important points in the report. Wildlife populations have dipped by 66% in Africa and 55% in the Asia Pacific. Latin America and the Caribbean regions have seen the largest decline of monitored wildlife populations globally, an average decline of 94% during the period. What are the reasons behind this? 
the main drivers of wildlife population decline are habitat degradation and loss exploitation introduction of invasive species pollution climate change and disease let's talk about wwf world wildlife fund it is a leading organization in wildlife conservation and endangered species was the headquarters of wwf Gland, Switzerland. It founded on 29th April 1961. Which the Director General of WWF, Marco Lambertini. Scientists have found new ecosystem named the Tropic Zone in which country? Maldives. The scientists on the Nectar Maldives mission have discovered evidence of the Tropic Zone. that is described as an oasis of oceanic life 500 meters below the surface the discovery of the trapping zone and the oasis of the life in depths surrounding the maldives provides us with critical new knowledge that further supports our conservation commitments and sustainable ocean management let's talk about maldives where is the capital of maldives malay Which the president of Maldives, Ibrahim Mohamed Solia. Currencies of Maldives: United States dollar and Maldivian rupee. Which state has launched universal health insurance scheme recently? Nagaland. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipio Rio launched a universal health insurance scheme for the people of the state. The Chief Minister's Health Insurance Scheme will be implemented in convergence with the Ayushman Bharat Scheme of the Centre. What is the aim of this scheme? The aim of the scheme is to alleviate financial hardships due to hospitalisation expense and prevent inaccessibility to health care or a kind of inability to afford it. Let's talk about Nagaland. Where is the capital of Nagaland? Kohima. Who is the Chief Minister of Nagaland? Nipio Rio Who is the governor of Nagaland Jagdish Mugi Important dates in October 9th October World Post Day and Indian Foreign Service Day 10th October National Post Day and World Mental Health Day Theme is Mental Health in an Unequal World Note on this point 9th October observed as World Post Day and 10th October National Post Day. 11th October International Day of the Girl Child. Theme is Our Time is Now, Our Rights, Our Future. National Girl Child Day observed on January 24. 12th October World Arthritis Day. Theme is It is in your hand, take action. Let's continue. 13 October International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction. Theme is substantially increase the availability and access to multi-hazard early warning systems and disaster risk information and assessment for people by 2030. Second Thursday of October observed as World Sight Day. Theme is love your eyes. 14th October World Standard Day. Theme is Shared vision for a better world. 15th October, Global Hand Washing Day. Theme is Unite for Universal Hand Hygiene. Please remember these important days and themes. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. If the video found helpful, please subscribe to our channel. Also share the video with your friends. To get daily current affairs, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.